Voice, sponsored by Southern Nevada Ford Dealers. And right now, as we remember 9-11, we talked to an Air Force veteran who just started serving our country when the attacks happened. And in this week's Veterans Voice, well, she walks Good Morning Las Vegas anchor Kalina Estrinos through what that day was like. Elizabeth Freeman was just a child when she wrote in her notebook saying she wanted to join the Air Force and serve our country. I have always just been really proud to be an American. She enlisted at 23, just a few months before the biggest terror attack on American soil. I got up in the morning on 9-11 and I went to go to the chow hall. I didn't have a phone or a computer or a TV. I was living in the dorms. So I walk across the street, go to the chow hall, and it was closed. And it said force protection delta on it, which means like something serious happened. But she didn't know what that was exactly until she found another soldier. He had a computer and he's like, oh my God, look at this. And I saw what was happening. It was basically right after you know, the, both of the towers had fallen. That day changed her life forever. Oh, I didn't believe it. It, I thought he was playing a joke on me. Like, there's no way something like that can happen. You know, this is America. <laughs> but, yeah, I came to the realization and it was pretty upsetting. Why does it still get you emotional today? Just, just innocent people dying and then the first responders especially the first responders going in, trying to save people. Another turning point in her life was when she deployed to Iraq. When I deployed, I had a daughter and she had just turned one right before I left. So when I came back, it was over nine months that I was gone and hadn't seen her and she didn't recognize me. So that was pretty devastating to come home and be excited to come home. She was the reason I wanted to come home. And then she didn't know me. This experience mixed in with what she saw overseas had a huge impact on her mentally and she had trouble coping, turning to alcohol to deal with anxiety and PTSD until she hit a crossroad. I just realized it was to this point where, you know, I have this daughter that I need to fix this so I could be there for her. So I did the rehab. The path to recovery has been a long one, but Elizabeth says her calling was to serve. Even though it was very traumatic and I now have PTSD from it, I don't regret it. I proudly served um, and I would never change anything. And as the 20-year mark of 9-11 approaches, she hopes veterans and those impacted by that day know their service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. I'm Kalina Estrinos. 13 Action News. And after the attack happened, she says that she and her comrades were posted up on the roof of the command building with weapons and night vision for hours. Well, if you are struggling with PTSD and need some help, we do have some resources. It's on our website at ktnv.com slash Veterans Voice. And Veterans Voice is sponsored by Southern Nevada Ford Dealers.